Hi, my name is Shannon McClintock Miller. I am the district teacher, librarian, and innovation director at Van Meter Community School in Van Meter, Iowa. And then I also serve as the Future Ready Librarian spokesperson, and I work with the Alliance for Excellent Education in Washington, D.C. as a national faculty member. As a teacher librarian, I'm always thinking of ways to help support our teachers and engage our students. And so I'm really excited to share three tips for teaching literacy skills that stick. So number one, I always think of how I can tie in additional resources to support our kids. For example, if a teacher comes to me with a topic or something that they are focusing on that week, a lot of times a big thing and this was a huge aha from probably all being home learning together was to create a choice board and putting together resources in a choice board is really helpful and it helps the teachers to be able to make those skills really stick to in the classroom so for example like i might go to my capstone connect and pull in ebooks or pebble go article or videos or maybe an educational game and create something really quickly that will be really powerful for the teachers and the kids to use in the classroom. Number two, I always think of how I can use technology to tie into literacy skills. And so a big part of my job being the district librarian is also the tech piece. I love tying in like STEAM activities with literacy. I think using any kind of books or literacy skills for that springboard when you're using you know steam when you're using technology a good example of this is today i had a teacher reach out for school teacher asking if i had a technology idea on how to reinforce story structure i immediately thought of our new sphero indies that we have which are robotic little cars and so we'll be using those for the kids to retell their story. And so just always thinking how we can tie it in. If it's maybe a merge experience that they're doing on a merge cube, or if it's robotics, or if it's something with Makey Makey, however you're thinking of not only using that technology, but it makes the kids so excited and engaged about what they're doing and really makes those things come to life. And then number three, is to always find experiences for your kids. And we have just great opportunities now. We have access, you know, not only through Zoom to connections that maybe we make ourselves, if it's through social media, or maybe you find something on a website and you ask people to come in and support not only those skills, but maybe the stories that the kids are reading. And so I turn to what well, used to be Skype in the classroom, but now it's Flipgrid live events, or maybe it's Skype a scientist or Crayola has great things with authors and illustrators and publishers and other people. And so finding those experiences to bring to the kids to really reinforce not only those skills, but those stories. And so on Monday, this is an example that we just are going to have so much fun with the kids in third grade are reading a story about fossils and the Badlands is mentioned. And so I reached out to the Badlands National Park and they're going to Zoom with our kids. So, you know, not only reading that and being able to talk about it and maybe doing research if it's using like Pebble Go or another resource, but then really tying in someone from there, like that's something that they'll never forget. And so we're always looking for those great experiences. What are some ways that you make literacy engaging for students? Comment those below and access our free early literacy program, WordForce, to support your students at everfi.com slash k-12 slash WordForce. In it, students develop a foundation in key reading skills by leveling up through 15 fun and impactful literacy games. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more inspiring conversations.